I'm going to do something that nobody's ever done before. A Lego haul. <laughs> no, no, not really. Uh, hey, I'm Jabba. Welcome to Brickzar. Uh, this is your home for vintage Lego. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the first item that I bought after my October. I did make it the entire month of October, a little bit of the end of, uh, what's the month before? September, w uh, without buying anything. And so what was the first set I bought? It wasn't this one. <laughs> this is the first one I had in my hands. Uh, this is a Duplo Peppa Pig set. We talked about this specific set on the A Fool podcast. Uh, and although I, I honestly cannot say that I don't have any Peppa Pig stuff in the basement because I do. <laughs> but uh, this is my first Lego Peppa Pig stuff. So when the, the Lego Peppa Pig, and this video is not going to be all about Peppa Pig. Just, just I'm going to tell you why I bought this set. Uh, so if you like Peppa Pig or you hate Peppa Pig, let's stop talking about it. I, I will. <laughs> um, anyways, a floating boat. Got I don't even know. Is that Peppa? Is Peppa a girl or a boy? I don't have any idea. I've never seen the show. Don't care. Uh, the reason I bought it is because of the back of the box, which ties in with the video I did on the town plan. Unless this is a doppelganger, I'm pretty sure that's Kel Kirk Christensen, who used to be, well, he's the grandson of Ollie Kirk Christensen, the founder of Lego, um, and used to be the CEO. Oh my goodness, I, I bought this at the store and I got a smash box. Did, or did I just put my arm on it? Did I just smash it? I don't know, and I don't, I don't care. Dang. I guess I should have looked at that a little closer. Did I just do that? <laughs> Comment below, did I just smash my own box? Probably did. All right. So that wasn't the first purchase, but it was the first thing that my hands touched. Uh, I'll talk about this, and I'll talk about this in a minute. Um, the first one. Now, there were a lot of good guesses. Uh, I would have gone, if I was guessing, I would have gone with something from Bricklink, a tipper truck part. <laughs> and although there were orders placed the same day that I placed this order uh, for tipper truck parts, those weren't the first things. And there's been an order placed on eBay. There's, I think there's, I've placed three BrickLink orders, one eBay, and then this one, which was Lego.com. So yes, spoiler alert, it was Lego.com. What did I buy? Well, we got enough to get the gift with purchase, the bookshelf. Not very many books on this bookshelf. And then we got, and this thing is heavy. For 153 pieces, that's pretty heavy for one of these boxes. Cerebo, so you know what that means. If you've been following along with the, the, the news people, which I don't, that means it's showing me how to open it. It's ready to ship. Yeah. We got the the uh, new modular. That was nice. Let me go see what I broke. The street sweepers. Jenny street sweepers. She sent me. That's disappointing. Hey, yesterday I almost took all those off of the the off the table. I did take some things off the table, and I was like, I need to put these in a container until I do a video on them, and now they're broken. Uh, hopefully it's just the two that fell off. Um, anyway, uh, we're gonna talk about. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I bought, uh, and I was I was thinking, you know what, I'm gonna get this eventually anyway. I did redeem some of my points to get a hundred dollars off, and plus I had this free and this free. So for two hundred and thirty dollars, I think that's what it, the price should be for this. <laughs> um, I got these three sets, so, um, and I did, put, you know, I thought I would place another order from lego.com. I did not. There are still some things, I'll just leave it here. There are still some things that I won't, and I opened that box with an AT&T, actually it was a Bell South, but now AT&T. This is a cable sheath knife. It's what you use to 
cut the plastic off of the, the cable, the wires and stuff when you're working outside, but it, it, it can be a lot of things. It can be a screwdriver, a door opener, <laughs> all kinds of things. So uh, that's why I'm wearing my at t shirt. It's long sleeve and I'm burning up and I, uh, I, this is the first time I've wore this shirt even to work all year. And so I'm putting this, I don't think I'll wear it again. So I found this when I was sorting and I was like, huh, why do I not recall this? It's the black minifigure paddle. And I was like, well, I mean, I don't see it in black a lot. I see red, white, and gray, light gray. And I was like, that's black. It's, and then I said, like, oh, it's got to be less common. And then I looked it up on BrickLink, and there were like 12 sets that it was in. And I was like, okay, it's not rare, 12 sets, but it was the most expensive. It was $2.18 was the cheapest used one on BrickLink. So, wow, I'm like, and I think the average sale price was about $5 <laughs> for a little black paddle. I think it's in some black Tron sets or something. Uh, but I thought that was interesting. And this is another thing I found. This actually belonged to my daughter. It's one of the MP3 players. Now, the, the one thing I'm looking for is the original headphones that went with it. I'm sure they, if they were used, they either went bad or they're just... I don't throw away a lot of stuff, even in old electronics. And I probably got a wadded up pair of headphones somewhere that went to this. Uh, I don't know where they are. So I don't have the original headphones. And I don't think it came with a charger cable. I don't remember. But it did power up after I charged it. You use, oh, apparently it doesn't hold a charge. <laughs> yeah, I charge this thing up. It is dead. So you got the batteries. That means the battery is completely dead. But it does work. It's just, it, I think it needs a new, new rechargeable battery. Or maybe it never had a rechargeable battery. I don't, I don't know. I think it did. But anyway, this thing powered up. There were some songs on it. Can you guess what was on there? So... <laughs> They weren't, I, I don't think they were put on there by my daughter. I think I'm the one that put them on there. But there are a couple songs on there that my daughter would have listened to uh, when she was younger. Those things we used to listen to in the radio. But there are th three bands on here. Can you name one of them? <laughs> or all three. <laughs> And if you can name the songs, that's even better. I mean, that's an impossible challenge because there are millions of songs, tens of thousands of bands, but there's three on here. Um, and they, I don't think they were put on my by my daughter, but some of the songs could have been. So, um, and no, oh, here's your hint. None of the songs on here were made by <laughs> bands that started after 1983. <laughs> so it's got that. Anyway, that's the, uh, the haul and the finds, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow in a much cooler shirt.